Let's take a look at the dosing sequence for the central dosing laundry dispenser from Hydro Systems Company. Step 1. Leak Test During the leak test, the water valve opens at the collector, which pressurizes the channel while product valves and distributor valves remain closed. If the programmable logic controller, or PLC, detects pulses from the flow meter, that means there is a leak and the dosing is aborted. At the end of the leak test, the water valve and the collector remains open. Step 2. Water Test After a successful leak test, it's time for the water test. The water valve at the collector is already open, and now the distributor valve associated with the washer is opened. The water test will verify there is sufficient water flow through the dosing channel to ensure the chemical, when pumped, can be flushed to the washer. As water passes through the flow meter, highly accurate pulse signals are detected by the PLC, indicating the volume of water passing through the meter. If the PLC detects the correct number of pulses from the flow meter, the test is considered passed. If the correct number of pulses are not detected during the test, the test is failed and the dosage is aborted, and an alarm is activated. After a successful water test, the distributor valve to the washer remains open, while the water valve on the collector closes. Step 3. Product Dosing With a successful water test, it is time to send chemical through the dosing channel. The chemical valve is opened at the collector and the pump is activated. As the chemical passes through the flow meter, pulses are counted to ensure the proper amount of chemical is dosed. If the desired number of pulses are not received in an appropriate time period, an alarm is activated. Product is pumped from the channel through the distributor valve to the designated machine. After either a successful dosage or an alarm, it is time for a water flush. Step 4. Water flush. The chemical valve is closed at the collector and the water valve is opened. The water flush can be completed in two different ways, configurable via the system's setup menu. In a pressure flush, the pressurized water supply flows through one cavity of the pump, flushing the chemical to the washer. Halfway through the flush time, the pump cycles to allow the remaining cavity of the pump to be flushed. Alternatively, with a pumped flush, the pump draws water from the reservoir, much like a product, to clean the pump and dosing channel. This method takes longer, but typically results in better cleaning of the pump and channel. Regardless of the method chosen, when the water flush is completed, the collector valve and distributor valves are closed, and the channel dosing process is ready to begin again. Step 5. Optional Air Flush in some instances, an optional air assist flush may be desired. The air assist module sends air through the lines between the flow meter and the distributor valves to fully flush all of the chemical and water to the washer in a fraction of the time of traditional flushing methods. 